Okay, uh... Now, after this, you have to go. Oh. Oh, this guy, he cannot do the, uh... Helicopter. And he, he can do his lovely tail until this oh. little cutscene. I can't seem to get any further. I'm sure there was something. Yeah. Yeah, there was something. Ah, yes. Now I remember. Alright, this oh, one explains that if you press... And I should crap. The Z button down, you can crouch, and then it explain no, that you hold the A like button it. to jump extra high, yeah. and then Press the B button to, to um, extra high. use his helicopter then thing, his flying helicopter thing, that, that he... See, that that's what he says. Hmm. Yep. Ooh, I'm sorry, I, not B again. You, you have to press A twice. I haven't played this game in a while, so give me a... Break. Alrighty. Jump. There you go. Like tails. Oh no! Shit! Fuck! <sighs> yeah, I hear you, money. Oh god. Uh, how the fuck do I get up there again? Fucked up. I think I die if I go in there. Let's see if that's true. No, it's not true. It's actually a shortcut. All right, let's try this again. My remote control, if this is a valid excuse, is very old. So, all right. Hey, you're supposed to go in there so you can learn to uh, get Conqueror's frying pan, but you have to go up here first. Up this ladder. Now, uh, this is Gargoyle over there, fat English Gargoyle. Um, let's talk to him before I do that. Who's this guy? If you think you're coming this way, you can think again. Oh, Apparently. You're a real charm. I just want to get past, please. No, I don't think so. I've only just got comfy. Have you ever sat on a piece of gothic architecture for 200 years? Gets right up your ass, you know. It's <laughs> the English. I'm not moving now. Isn't it a little bit early in the day to start talking about gothic architecture? Well, it's never it's too early to closer, talk about gothic architecture. AKA violence. Now, if you run into him, he'll grab you and throw you off the bridge, so it's not necessarily a good idea. Alright, what'd you do? Pull up this lever. And then you go back to the door that's down there. Come on, make it. Good. And here, when you go in there, the door will close, and then you have to catch his key. There you go. He's screaming. Hang on. Yeah. There's something missing here. Didn't yeah, I have press a... B. Ah. Frying yeah. pan. Try pressing B. Special uh, weapon that all squirrels has. Um, all right. Are you sure you got that? Yes, I got it. I got it. All right. Oh, come here. Come here, trick. There you go. Alright. Take this, you open the door, and now since you have the frying pan, you can get the, um, the fat, uh, limey of a uh, gargoyle off the bridge. Alright. Not. Oh, good. A frying pan. <laughs> yeah, it is pretty it is amusing. Bye bye. <laughs> London Bridge is falling. Okay.
All right, I first play this, I cussed out loud, but it's pretty easy. You jump up here, and you propel over here, press B, get some dynamite. Where's dynamite? Um, I think I know what's gonna happen now. I don't. Oh, wow, that totally surprised me. Fantastic. Let's go and get some shut-eye. Finally. Like I always do. I sleep at 7 a.m. too. Up all night, sleep at 7 a.m. Alright, a little happy flower. Dun dun dun. Here comes the Austrian weasel. The professor, I believe. Is this like a mod? Is like. Like, I got entrance? Is this got pay important? It's not. Trust me, it's not. So waste it your gosh damn time. Is bullshit. Yeah, that's an awesome oh. chair. I'm surprised. Why doesn't it uh, burn the carpet? Welcome. I have a job for you. As you can see, the table. Yeah. The table. It's the table. Science does it look again. Oh, that's not good, not good. No, it's not good. His legs were chopped off by the American soldiers back when he was a Nazi. Don't be too loud. Yeah, because he's a very busy person. Because we know what happened last time. On it a while, on it a while. I'll go now. What's strange about this is that the audio never usually matches the um text. No. I don't want you to get the duct tape out again. I don't want the duct tape either. I assume he just puts the duct tape on their fur and then just rip it off. Now cuss words will spew out like this. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> I always like that little rant. Ronin's of the um, world. Yeah. I assume uh, Ed Austrian uh, man wrote that book. Kind of working. Uh, uh, Anti-gravity chocolate is also especially it's large. You can feed the world with that. Uh. Hooray! I just love this music. Alright, there goes the sign, not in nice. What you do first is go at nice and help this fat ass uh, queen bee. Nasty, nasty wasps. Whatever shall we do? My beautiful hive is gone. Hope she's really cause she ain't sure ain't cute. <laughs> Agreed. Uh Koopa face. Or you just follow the direction you saw the uh, bees, the wasps went in the beginning, which is up here. Now, the graphics of this game is actually very good. I mean, it's not as good as Banjo and Tui. But this game was actually quickly put together. It sure is better than six, Superman 64. Okay. Alright, you take this. Hey! Some wise guy trying to steal our nice new hive! Come on, boss! Let's go get him! Yeah! Let's get him! Okay, with this little bullshit run, you... You cannot be slow f stall for one second, so... Alright. Uh, uh, it almost got me right there. I'll get him, Bob. You know, almost all the voices in this game done by one person.
Now this is funny. He kills them in this scene, and then next time he, they're alive again. Uh, don't you mean motherfucker? Haha. <laughs> you can't catch me. Oh. Fail. Oh, really? That doesn't surprise me. Woman. What? Nothing. Me too. Anyway, I agree. Award for your good service to the bee community, I present you with this. Money. With eyeballs on it. Everyone loves dough. All right. Alright, this is the end of this uh, Let's Play. See you later in the next 